Five days after a massive blaze destroyed a large section of Bethlehem Steel, crews are still dousing hot spots. Yeah, that fire tore through this Lackawanna storage facility where boats and vehicles were housed. You just saw it. That is all that is left today, and this is what it looked like before. Tonight, we're talking to the owner of Dr. Bob's storage facility. But first, 7 Eyewitness News following the big cleanup today, both on the ground and in the air. Reporter Ed Riley, live in Lackawanna tonight. Ed. Well, Jeff and Ashley, we have all seen the Lackawanna fire on the news, but you know, until you come here in person and actually look at it, it's almost hard to imagine just how big this is. And that's one of the reasons why officials say it could take several months for everything to be cleaned up. Sam Murchie is still in effect. Uh, I have no intention of lifting it until I'm told I have to. Emergency demolition crews are still hard at work, and they're digging through the rubble of the former Bethlehem Steel Building so fire crews can get to the remaining hot spots. And there's a possibility we'll be fighting these hot spots for another two more weeks. Fire investigators also need the debris moved so they can figure out what sparked this massive blaze. Because of the vastness of the fire and the heat, uh, it, you know, this one's going to take a little bit longer. The property is owned by Great Lakes Industrial Development. Today, a spokesperson confirmed the company is insured and said it was in compliance with fire suppression regulations. But the spokesperson said due to hot spots and lack of access to the property, there is still no way to figure out the total cost of damage, adding only that we have a long road ahead. Pretty devastating. I'm very surprised. It did not look that much when you were passing through. New York State and Lackawanna Police are still providing 24-hour coverage, and the DEC is monitoring air quality. But Lackawanna Mayor Jeff Samansky said the city plans to bring in its own air monitoring equipment just to make sure. I don't know what my residents are breathing. I don't know what my first responders are breathing, but I want an, I want an answer too. A mutual aid response from Buffalo and several volunteer fire companies helped Lackawanna battle this huge fire. Those crews have left, leaving Lackawanna to handle any remaining problems. Honestly, if they weren't here, then that fire would still be going. The firefighting cost is expected to be enormous, and city officials are now collecting data and paperwork. Work with hope there will be reimbursement from the state or federal government. The city didn't do it, the residents didn't do it, but things have to be brought in and things have to be paid for. The mayor says the city is planning to keep some streets here in Bethlehem Park that are close to the fire scene shut down until further notice. Now, that's for two reasons. One, to allow first responders easier access when they come down here, but also to keep away gawkers who could end up bringing their cars and causing a huge traffic problem. Now, this fire is continuing to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. My colleague Josh Bazan here with more on that. Yep, Ed, and l luckily no homes on this street in Bethlehem Park were lost, but that doesn't mean personal property wasn't lost. We're standing in front of what's left of Dr. Bob's storage in Lackawanna, and that's a place where dozens of Western New Yorkers stored their personal property. And there was about 90 cars, boats, and RVs inside this facility at the old Bethlehem Steel site in Lackawanna. After last week's fire, the company's owner is calling it a total loss. One boat being stored outside didn't get damaged, but Dr. Bob's other customers are now hoping their insurance will cover these significant losses. The storage agreement required property owners to ensure their boats, cars, or motorhomes on their own. It's a tough time for Dr. Bob and his customers. One woman I spoke to today had put her cars in storage just four days before this fire. Um, on Saturday, we put in a 1977 Lincoln Continental and also a 2009 um, Cadillac that was in all really nice condition. I got my records that it was in a, in a fire, not proof area, but safe. So that's a great, uh, you know, that's that's super. So I can get to all my clients, and you know, I'm going to try and reimburse as much as I can, and, and do whatever I can to help them. Dr. Bob says fire investigators have those records intact, which will also help customers filing insurance claims. But it's not just Dr. Bob and his customers being affected by this fire. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 6, we'll hear from neighbors right here in Bethlehem Park trying to just return to life as normal. For now, live in Lackawanna, for Ed Riley, I'm Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News. Gentlemen, thank you. Just incredible images.